everyone, I'm Sarah Comfort, the Planetarium Forums Coordinator at the Bell Museum. As the weather gets warmer and the seasons noticeably change, the sky goes through its own changes. But no matter what season it is, there's always something eye-catching and intriguing to see, no telescope required. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go find some of our spring constellations by star hopping from some of the constellations we already know. So make sure to grab your red flashlight and your star map, and let's get going. Start by finding the Big Dipper in the northern sky. We talked about the Big Dipper in a previous video and how to star hop from it to the North Star Polaris using the stars Mirak and Dubby. This time, we're going to use the handle of the Big Dipper and star hop in the other direction. Follow the arc of the handle and arc to Arcturus, our first hop on tonight's star hopping journey. Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation of Bohotes, the herdsman, and the fourth brightest star in the evening sky. From Arcturus at the base of Bohotes, you can travel up to Izar, then around in a kite shape, and back to Arcturus. The constellation finishes going out either side of Arcturus, kind of like two little kickstands. While Bohotes can look more like an ice cream cone or a rocket once you've traced the whole constellation, the name Arcturus means guardian of the bear in ancient Greek. And Bohotes is often depicted as herding Ursa Major and Ursa Minor around the night sky. Continuing our star hopping, We've already arced to Arcturus. Now we can spike down to Spica, the brightest star in the constellation of Virgo, the Maiden. Virgo is the second largest constellation in the sky, so it takes up quite a bit of space. It is also one of the few constellations that look like what it's named after. You can imagine Spica as one of Virgo's hands as she lays gracefully floating in the sky. Often depicted with a stalk of wheat in her hand, Virgo has close historical ties with agriculture and farming. Virgo is used by ancient farmers as a way to tell time. When Virgo rose in the east while the sun was setting in the west, it told farmers it was time to plant their fields. Later in the year, when Virgo set in the west with the sun, it told farmers it was time to harvest their fields. Now that you know how to arc to Arcturus and spike down to Spica, I hope you get a chance to go outside and enjoy the night sky for yourself. <laughs> 